every single patient uh, um, who's treated with say very advanced techniques such as IMRT radiation therapy, stereotactic body radiation therapy, 3D conformal radiation therapy. Each patient has a plan that's customized uh, to their particular anatomy, to their particular type of cancer. Some cancers require more radiation to cure than others uh, and to the size of the tumor. Um, so all of these variables go into creating a, a specific plan that's specific for that unique patient. Patients come into radiation therapy and they undergo a CT scan and then a treatment plan that's specific for them and their cancers created with advanced software. Uh, and then the medical physicists who we work with uh, take that plan and do measurements on the treatment machine to make sure that the treatment that was planned is accurately delivered by the machine because there's so many moving parts. And just like when you buy a car, you have an owner's manual and every 3,000 miles you change the oil and 15,000 miles they check other uh, aspects of the car. Uh, linear accelerators have the same type of quality assurance measurements where they have daily measurements that are obtained for very uh, routine uh, things that, such as to make sure that the machine is spinning around an exact point called isocenter. They measure the output of the machine. And then there are other measurements that are taken uh, on a weekly or monthly basis, and some even on an annual basis, just to ensure that the machine is actually functioning properly. Uh, and then there are, are patient-specific measurements, where the physicist would take the actual plan that was uh, uh, planned in the treatment planning software and verify that it's actually safely being delivered to a piece of plastic, basically, uh, prior to the patient being treated. Um, but currently, there aren't generally accepted methods for actually measuring the dose that a patient's receiving uh, when they're actually getting their treatment. And that would be a huge step forward in quality assurance for patients. So we were uh, fortunate um, to have a Buchanan grant where we were uh, part of the basic science of uh, and the clinical translational work of this Buchanan grant, which was to develop a program to provide cancer patients highly uh, accurate and rapid uh, uh, palliation for pain uh, and even treatments for tumors around the spine and so forth. Uh, we wanted another layer of quality assurance and so we've been working in collaboration with tomotherapy uh, to um, use the CT detectors of the machine to actually measure the dose uh, that's coming uh, from the source of the radiation unit through the patient and into these detectors uh, and um, have done some pilot studies with some beta software and have been able to measure this dose to within plus or minus 5%. Uh, so we're very excited about this being a, a new layer and level of quality assurance that currently isn't provided routinely uh, to cancer patients, um, but is, is probably not that far off in the distant future given the, you know, the, the tremendous uh, complications that can occur if in fact you do have an error in, in treatment uh, delivery or planning.